Hi, if you are going to take a genetics class anytime soon, uh, believe me, on your exam you would uh, have uh, one of the questions that is going to be similar to this one. It looks scary f from the beginning how to solve it, but believe me, this is uh, very easy to solve and in 5-6 minutes you would be able easily to do it. And I will explain you how to do it step by step. So, uh, what we have here, we have two... Uh, parents that we start with. This is parent 1 and this is parent 2. And uh, when we cross these two parents, we are going to get uh, F1 generation. And F1 generation, we are going to self pollinate. And now the question itself what is the proportion of the F2 progeny would be of this particular genotype? So we have to calculate probability and here is how we are going to do it. So uh, let me start here. So this is going to be our parent 1 and this is going to be parent 2. So you see parent 1 at the LSI A is homozygous dominant and parent 2 homozygous recessive. Parent 1 at loci B homozygous recessive and parent 2 homozygous dominant and parent 1 homozygous dominant and parent uh, 2 homozygous recessive and so on with the rest of the loci if uh, one parent is uh, homozygous dominant, another one is homozygous recessive. And uh, this is how we get uh, F1 generation. And as you see here, uh, all uh, loci are present in heterozygous form. And how we got it, it's very easy. So for example, here would be our parent 1 and um, parent 1 at loci A is homozygous dominant, so we put um, capital A, capital A here, and parent 2 at loci A is homozygous recessive, so we put for parent 2 small a, small a, and now we build a Punnett square, and what we are going to get here is small a, capital A, small a capital A, small a capital A, small a capital A. So as you see, all the F1 generation for this particular loci going to be heterozygous. So this is going to be 100% heterozygous. And that's explanation why we, when we uh, cross uh, one homozygous uh, dominant with uh, homozygous recessive or uh, dominant can be here and recessive here. That's explanation why uh, at the oloci uh, this particular F1 generation going to be heterozygous. So this Punnett square explains it. So now going to be a second step how we are going to solve this problem and also I want to show you that uh, we self-pollinate F1 generation, so both parents going to be of the same uh, genotype. So this is going to be absolutely the same uh, uh, for the uh, parent 1 here and parent 2 here. Genotype is the same. So, because there is no segregation in the F1 generation. But what's going to happen with... Uh, our next cross and this is um, quest our question what is the proportion of the F2 progeny would be of this particular genotype and as you see we have uh, dominant, homozygous dominant, homozygous recessive, heterozygous forms here so how calculate this probability and uh, let me explain it one again with the use of the Punnett square so, for example, this is going to be parent 1 here, and for the loci A, this time we have K 
capital A small a and here going to be parent 2 and uh, parent 2 also going to have uh, capital A small a here so we put capital A small a here and once again build the Punnett square and here we are going to get capital A capital A capital A small a small a capital A and small a small a as you see here is a segregation of our traits and um, for example homozygous dominant going to be uh, one out of four chances and for the heterozygous form we have two out of four or we can simplify it as one half so one half chances half of the chances going to be heterozygous and once again uh, for the homozygous recessive we have chances that is one out of four so we uh, put one out of four uh, here for the homozygous recessive this is going to be for the heterozygous and this is going to be for the um, homozygous dominant and now we very easily can solve our problem so here for the what is the chances for the um, AA here to be homozygous dominant and as you see here the chances is um, one fourth so we put one fourth here and next BB and this is homozygous recessive and chances to be one fourth so we uh, put one fourth here and what is the chances for the uh, Lassai C to be heterozygous and as you see here heterozygous is uh, one half those uh, our example for um, only A Lassai but uh, this is going to be um, the same uh, figures for all different Lassai when we have two uh, heterozygous parents and we have here uh, all uh, heterozygous uh, parents uh, heterozygous at all Lassai so we just uh, change letters but uh, principle stays the same so for the um, heterozygous uh, Lassai C we have probability that is one half and we put one half here and one fourth here one over four here and one half here so now how we are going to calculate our probability we have to multiply all these independent probabilities and this is how we are going to get our answer so one fourth multiplied by one fourth this is one sixteenth uh, multiplied by one two uh, this is one over thirty two multiplied by one fourth this is going to be uh, one over one hundred twenty eight multiplied by one fourth this is going to be one over five hundred twelve and multiplied by one half this is going to be one over one thousand twenty four and you also can calculate uh, the probability as a percentage you just have to uh, divide one by one thousand twenty four and you can get the answer as a percentage so this is our answer I hope my explanation were clear and now you would be able to solve analogous problems thank you for your attention please subscribe to my channel new videos every day goodbye